What do you think of the facial interface that comes stock on the Quest 2? Okay, stupid question. You wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't feel like replacing it with something else, would you? As you are aware, the facial interface that comes stock on the Quest 2 is made from a foam of some kind. Personally, I think the stock interface feels fine. I haven't gotten any skin irritation from it like some other individuals have, which prompted Oculus to stop selling the Quest 2 for a month or two, and to send out these silicone covers to any Quest 2 owners that wanted them. Also, when they resumed sales of the Quest 2 at the end of August 2021, they began including silicone covers in the box with all the new units. Now, like I said, I feel the stock facial interface feels great to me, uh, but at the same time, being made of foam, it really acts like a sponge and can get pretty well loaded up with sweat. And if you're sharing your Quest 2 with friends or family members, yeah, someone else's sweat isn't going to kill you, but it's just icky feeling putting a damp headset on your face. So when I got my silicone cover from Oculus, I applied it to my Quest 2's interface and gave it a try, and it's okay. It does a great job at keeping the stock interface from soaking up any sweat, and makes it super easy to clean off before handing the headset on to someone else. But to me, it makes the stock interface feel stiffer and noticeably less comfortable. So I ended up uh, removing the silicone cover and went back to wearing the sweat sponge. In a recent video, I tried out the Kiwi upgraded Elite strap for my Quest 2 and really liked the feel of the padding on the brace that rests on the back of your head. The padding is super soft and the material covering the padding has a really nice soft texture to it. Feeling it in person made me wonder if it uses the same type of material some of the aftermarket facial interfaces I'd seen online are made of, uh, because it looked very similar. That got me looking into products from companies like VR Cover, and ultimately I chose to purchase this virtual reality Oasis facial interface on Amazon. Link in the video description. Virtual Reality Oasis is a channel here on YouTube that exclusively makes content about VR. And while I have seen some of his videos, I'm not a diehard fan or anything, I just like the tropical blue and white color scheme of this interface. Anyway, as for what all comes in the VR cover box, let's take a look and see. On top of everything is the plastic frame with the silicone nose piece attached. Its purpose is to reduce the amount of light leakage you get coming in from the nose gap of the headset, but if you prefer not having it attached, it can be easily removed. Beneath the frame, there are two different face pads for you to choose from. These things feel amazing. The foam inside is super soft, and the outer material is soft and smooth to the touch. The overall look and feel of these pads is the same, it's just one is thicker than the other one. I prefer using the thinner pad because it gets my eyes closer to the lenses, making the field of view a little better. One thing to be aware of if you wear glasses with your Quest 2 and use the glasses spacer that comes with the Quest 2, these VR cover facial interfaces are not compatible with the glasses spacer. So to keep your glasses from contacting the lenses of your Quest 2, you may want to use the thicker pad. Beneath the face pads, VR cover has included this very nice set of lens covers to protect your headset's lenses when it's not in use. And beneath those is a pair of disposable hygiene covers, which is probably more a thing for people that do VR experiences as a business, where lots and lots of different people are putting the headset on and off. I honestly don't see myself ever really using these. The very last thing in the box is the instructions, which I didn't even really look at because it's a pretty simple product. To install the pad onto the frame, I folded the pad in half, uh, then placed this portion of the pad against the center of the frame, like so, and then worked my way around each side, applying the pad to the Velcro. At this point, I really wanted to try out this new facial interface and see how it compares to the stock interface. So I swapped them out and fired up some games to see what I thought. 
As for comfort, it feels fantastic. It feels noticeably better than the stock interface and the comfort gap only gets wider when you compare it to the stock interface with the silicone cover on it. The VR cover is just way softer feeling. As for the nose piece that's supposed to help with light leakage, I don't notice a huge difference. It does make it harder to see through the nose area of the headset though, which I often use if I need to take a quick peek at the real world. Other than being super comfortable, the other plus to the VR cover is the material it's made out of does not soak up sweat at all. So when your friends or family are over enjoying VR together, all it takes is a simple wipe down and the next person has a nice dry headset to put on. No more icky. This replacement facial interface set sells for $29 on Amazon, as well as on VR Cover's website. So the question is, is it worth that price? Well, ultimately, that's up to you to decide. If you're happy with the stock interface, then there's really not much of a reason, in my opinion, to replace it. But if you're looking for something comfortable that's not going to soak up your sweat, and you're not a fan of the silicone cover Oculus provides, uh, and or you're wanting to do something to add a little bit of customization to your Quest 2, uh, as they do offer several different color combinations, then I think VR cover is definitely worth taking a look at. Hey, don't click away! Yes, this is the end of the video, but if you want to save yourself $30 and get a shot at winning a VR cover like the one I have here, there's uh, something you need to know. Earlier in the video, you may have noticed a weird little blip that was a single frame I put into the video that contains the information you need to enter the giveaway. So go and find that frame, and I wish you the best of luck in the giveaway.